All right, guys, so I'm going to click on uh, the Capture CIS to load ORCAD B-SPICE. So I'm going to double click on it. That's what I have here. Uh, it popped up. So I'm going to go to File, New. I'm going to create a new project. I'm going to call it Lab2 underscore, uh, let's say, A1. Make sure you select B-SPICE Analog. That's basically going to do circuit simulation for analog circuits or mixed AD, which stands for analog digital. So this is the one we need to select. You click OK. I'm going to create blank project. Click OK. So this uh, will pop up for us is what we call a schematic window. That's where we're going to draw the circuits on. So I'm going to use uh, BARTS. So let me delete all those libraries. Uh, you don't have to do that, but I'm going to delete them. Uh, so uh, if this was your first time in installation, you're going to have something empty here. Uh, if this was your first time after the installation, you're going to have it empty here. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add libraries. I'm going to click on this one. I need three libraries. The first one is the analog. So I make sure I select analog. I'm going to click on control to add it or just do open. That will work. So the analog library will have the analog parts like capacitors, inductors, resistors, and other kind of uh, uh, components that we can use. I'm going to also add the eval library, so I'm going to underscore until I get eval. Here you go, this is the eval, I'm going to add that. Uh, eval will have components that we can use later on, not in this uh, tutorial. I'm going to also add the sources, so it's called source library, so I'm going to keep underscoring until I find the source. So here is S, here is the source, source library. I'm going to add it. So basically, if I wanted to add to my schematics things like DC voltage source and all that, AC voltage source, sine wave and pulses and all that, whether it is voltage or current source, I can use the components in the source library. So in this lab, we do doing basically verification of Ohm's law. So I'm going to do something called DC sweep. So I need to have a DC voltage source. So I'm going to write V DC. And I have the VDC here. So if you uh, come to the parts and you write it, it will show you where it's at. I'm going to double click on it. And it pops up here. So it's kind of a drag and drop kind of interface. I'm going to add it here. Now I can change the name of it if I want it. I can. It's called V1 by default it's because this is the first source in the circuit I can change this value I can make the value to be 5 volts for example so this is 5 volts connected to uh, uh, added to the circuit now I'm gonna uh, basically do a resistor so the resistor is at the analog library so I'm gonna click on the analog here and then I'm gonna do R stands for resistor and uh, so I have a resistor here. I can rotate this resistor. So I'm going to click on the letter R. Letter R will rotate it. And then I will have the resistor here. It's called R1 by default. It's the first resistor added. I can play with the value if I want it. I can make it, for example, 2K, but I'll keep it as 1K. You can make it 2K easily, but I'll keep it as 1K. And I'll say OK. So that's what I have. Uh, let me select this resistor and then move it over here. Now I'm going to basically connect the circuit. So here it says place wire. I'm going to place a wire from the top of the voltage source to the top of the resistor. And then I'm going to add a wire from the bottom of the voltage source to the bottom of the resistor. And then now I still have one more thing to add, which is the ground. You need to define the ground to do B spice simulation. So I'm going to come here. It says place ground. Make sure you choose the Z, the zero back, uh, forward slash cap sim. So this is the one I'm going to use. And then I'm going to add it here. Now the circuit is complete. 
fact that I can save it if I want it. It's saved already. So this is saved under a schematic. This schematic will be transferred to another file called netlist, which describe the nodes and the components in the circuit. You, know, you need to know that, but you don't have to worry about it much early on. Now we need to define the simulation. So I'm going to say a new simulation. I usually give the name sim1 for my first simulation of the circuit. And it's not inherited. That means it's not built on older simulation. I'm going to add create. And now we gonna basically come to this window and define the analysis we have. So by default this is by default this is time domain analysis. I don't need that. I need to use what we call DC sweep. DC sweep. Basically the DC sweep will change or sweep the value of V1 and I'm gonna set it up to go from negative 10 to 10 with some increment of 0 0.1. So I'll make sure that I select here for the DC sweep is a voltage source. The name of it going to be V1. So I make sure that it's the same voltage name here is what added here. Now I'm going to do linear sweep. And then I will start from negative 10 volts to 10 volts. And then I will have an, an increment of 0 0.01. Uh, you can add any small increment you want. It depends on how much resolution you want. This is a simple circuit, so this is really good enough. I'll do apply. OK. So basically what that says is the simulation will vary this voltage source from negative 10 to 10 volts. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to measure the current through this resistor. So there are some markers here. I'm going to use the current marker. I'll make sure that it's connected to the top of the resistor, which is here. Okay. That's what I need. And then now I'm ready to simulate my circuit. So to simulate the circuit, I'm going to click on the run B spice. That's the one I want. So I'm going to click on that. And now let's see what we have when you run it. Uh, at the bottom here, you're going to see a blinking page. That's basically the simulation window. And it will show you the graph. As you can see, we have this linear graph. And in this linear graph, we have a uh, the current will go from negative 10 when the voltage is negative 10 and it's going to be linearly changing it's a straight line such that when it reads 10 volts you're going to read 10 milliamp and at 0 volts you get 0 milliamp so this is uh, basically ohm's law that defines the current through the resistor once you apply a voltage across it and this kind of simulation that we used called DC sweep or DC analysis very simple simulation. That's what you have to do in this lab if you are in my class. And if you uh, are learning this uh, software on your own, this is basically the simplest circuit that you can design, one voltage source and one resistor. Hopefully that will help you to build on from now on. Uh, thank you so much.